Oh my god! Didn't prepare to get this wet, but I'm already wet. There we go. Summer is here and it's not going away for quite some time. Welcome back to the channel everybody. Finally bought something I've been wanting to buy for about three years now, but I didn't have faith in the product. It's an inflatable kayak. Being on the road with my current setup, my truck camper, it's super hard to throw a kayak or a canoe up on top by myself. So I invested in a inflatable portable kayak that's gonna be a fishing kayak. So we can really enjoy this summer and not have to worry about too much if, if, if this goes well, if this goes well. If you can't tell by my excitement, my least favorite season is probably summer. It definitely is summer, sweating, dehydration, just sweating in places you didn't know sweat could come out of on your body. It's, it's not my favorite, but I like to embrace it as best as I can so I can enjoy myself. So I'm gonna do everything I possibly can this summer to make summer more enjoyable for me and try to beat the heat in the best way possible. So we're gonna be experimenting a ton this summer and we're just gonna be having fun, okay? Starting off with the fishing kayak. Well, it's not really a fishing kayak because it's inflatable, sharp hooks. You know how that, it's probably not gonna go good for me. I'm not sure. We're gonna crack this thing open. We're gonna go fishing before we camp for the night. I have a really cool campsite. Really stoked about it. Summer, yes. Oh my god. Absolutely fantastic start to today's video. No! My table! Oh! <laughs> Welcome back to another Fishing with Back episode where we do things wrong and things break a lot. <laughs> How is that even possible? A, a, a cardboard box. This is a $40 piece of wood. Oh, that's so light. It looks like it's gonna hold me, so didn't prepare to get this wet, but I'm already wet. I'm floating. Ooh, this is super easy to turn. It's so light. Oh, we're just turning. Now we're going backwards. I'm not even gonna paddle that far. We're just gonna cast. Haven't fished here in years, so we'll see how we do. Oh. I wish I was kidding. I wish I was kidding. First cast. Ooh, baby, maybe this will be a good summer. Enjoying the great outdoors can lift your spirits, that's for sure. Real quick, I just wanted to hop in here and mention today's video sponsor, which is BetterHelp. I've personally been going to therapy since I was 14. It is something I'm a big advocate for. I believe therapy should be normalized because we're all going through something and you are most definitely not alone. It's okay to ask and receive for help, which is why I partnered up with BetterHelp. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy platform in the entire world, and it is all completely online. When you make an account, you're gonna take a short quiz and on that short quiz, BetterHelp is going to match you with the best professional therapist that's gonna fit all your needs. You can communicate at any pace you would like. So whether that's 
video chat on the phone and you can send a text message at any time and maybe your therapist isn't the best fit for you that's okay you can change free of charge and you can sign up for better help anywhere in the world BetterHelp is also more affordable than traditional therapy so if this is something that you're interested in and you want to take charge of your mental health i highly recommend checking them out and clicking my link down below at betterhelp.com forward slash fishing with becca that is betterhelp.com forward slash fishing with becca and you can get 10 percent off your first month we're all human thank you BetterHelp, for sponsoring today's video now back to the video i'm about to do something crazy if you didn't know you're not really supposed to throw a topwater frog on fluorocarbon or you got braid and mono you can throw a frog on because this is fluorocarbon line it's gonna sink with the frog uh, but it's all I have and I have a feeling we're about to get absolutely smacked on this top water so got to keep my rod tip up so my line doesn't sink with it and kind of work the frog faster than I should <gasps> No! Ah, I got smacked on the top water. Oh my god! There we go. On the top water frog. Don't you dare come off. Please don't pop the kayak. Oh, that's probably roughly the size of all the fish we've been missing because look, he also barely got it. Like they're just short striking everything that I'm throwing. <laughs> I'll take it. First fish in our inflatable kayak, starting off the summer right, I guess. See a little squirt, a little frog eater. Where are you? I'm not sure if I'm allowed to show you guys this, but we got three new Guggen Squad baits coming out soon. Maybe they'll be out by the time this video is up. We have a new topwater walking bait, the two-step. We have the slurp and spoon, and then a new style of their zinger. This is the mini. I'm sure it's coming out in the bigger size too. Besides of a willow blade or a Colorado blade, this is a Colorado blade and a willow blade. Uh, honestly, one of my favorite combinations. Carbonations, combinations. Anyways, enough of that. Let's um, let's keep frogging. Came prepared with the my telescopic travel rod not the biggest fan of this thing because it's not the best but i'm gonna i'm gonna do it because uh we don't got a lot of room in this kayak so this isn't even mine this is my dad shout out dad uh for the rod if you're wondering where it went my bad there we go there we go <laughs> that's awesome god i love frog fishing can't beat it. Also short striked it, but a fish is a fish. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I was repositioning the kayak. Oh, he came off. That's all. It's all good. It's all good. That was a really cool eat nonetheless. These hooks look gnarly and it's going to help us hook the fish better, but it's also really scary an inflatable kayak and there's a lot of weeds. Probably shouldn't throw this bait, but I'm going to. <laughs> oh, see ya. Oh, big, big fish is attacking something right there. And I don't know if he got it but oh my god is that the big fish that i saw no <laughs> what a top water eat though what a freaking top water eat that is what we were looking for with the frog and it didn't work out face full of hooks that's for sure that new top water killing it what a top water eat that is so cool Oh, I just got pecked like three times. A little buddy. There we go. Took me 15 minutes and 37 seconds to blow up the kayak. How long will it take me to break it down? 
we'll find out. We're not camping at this spot because honestly, someone would totally call the cops on us. Those people over there have called the cops on me just for fishing before and same with that lady. So definitely not camping here. This neighborhood doesn't like me for some reason. <laughs> so this girl's doing crazy stuff. She's, she's fishing, staying out of trouble and fishing. Come get her. Anyways, I'm gonna try to break down the kayak and see how it goes. Fingers crossed. Yes, come on. Yes. Oh, and this is why I don't love summer that much. Don't know if you guys can tell. Sweating. I'm sweating. We got some eggs boiling. I'm um, gonna be honest with you guys, I never boiled eggs a day in my life. Just Googled it quickly to see how long it should be in there. So let's see if that works. Oh man, that was a workout. How do I get this out? I don't even have anything to take the eggs out with. Camping 101, never show up to your campsite, uh, you know, in the dark, but it was well worth it. I knew I should have left about 30 minutes earlier than I did, but the bite was just so good. I couldn't help myself. So we stayed out there a little bit later than I wanted to. It's eight o'clock right now, but half our dinner is already cooked because we boiled eggs, multitasking as we put away the portable inflatable kayak. So let's uh, hit the road. We're only about 15, 20 minutes away from where I want to camp tonight, but it is already eight o'clock. So I'm thinking about possibly just camping in a neighborhood tonight that's kind of lame but it's already getting to that point where it, it is dark so i don't think it's smart to go to the spot where i want to because it's a little bit like off-roading um and it wouldn't be smart to do at night I haven't been to this spot in quite some time, so just checking it out first. This is a sketchy spot. I mean, I think it's doable, honestly, so that thing's huge. And this one. Oh my god. We're in a tree. On both sides. That was so freaking close. All right. Should have put my four-wheel drive on, huh? Oh, that was pretty good. My whole truck is like this right now. Oh. Just hit a rock. Any luck? No, I just went out to my boat. Oh, really? Over there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I usually camp here. Are you staying here tonight? Yeah. Well, have fun. Thank you. Nice well, it was nice meeting you. You know a good spot. I've lived here my whole life. Actually, I'm cool. somewhere. I got a I just got a sailboat last year. Um, but it's it's a, it's a 1973 O'Day. Do you um do you grab a mooring or do you drop anchor? Drop anchor. Really? Yeah. How long is the road? Uh, um, can you just go up there so I can back around? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I got you. Yes. Thank you. Have a good one. And here is our beautiful campsite. God, I love this spot. It's so hard to get to and not many people do it. Due to the fact that it's just hard to get to and no one really knows that you like vehicles can successfully fit down here. He was uh, talking to me and he was like, wow, I mean, good for you. You know a good spot. Are you from around here? But I lived here my entire life. I think I found this spot right after I got my license in high school. It's like when you get your license, you kind of just travel everywhere. 
when I first got my license, I just kind of used to hop in the car and try to find the coolest spots I possibly could way prior to even truck camping. And this is one of my absolute favorite spots. A little annoying because the train goes right through here, but um, you can look past that. It's a great spot. Home sweet home. It is, I mean, it's hot in here. It has to be well over 80 degrees, maybe, maybe more. Whatever the temp is outside, it's 10 times hotter in here. It's basically a sauna. It heats up. This is carpeted. Ow. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, it's cause this is on. Oh, I hate those gnats. If you live in New England and you know what I'm talking about, they're basically mosquitoes, but translucent and they hurt 10 times more than a mosquito. And I think they're getting in where my window's cracked. So I just shoved a blanket in there. Anyways, <laughs> in order to make this summer different from last summer in the aspect of enjoying truck camping in the summer without dying in the heat, we're gonna do a couple things different. This year, I wanna focus on ventilation and I do have two windows that open, but the screen is broken. I accidentally put the, a razor to it when I was putting up the carpet. Not my finest moment, I know. Um, so I need to repair that. That is very top of my list as well as <clears throat> fixing my table. I mean, I guess it could still work as a table, just not really sad day next up is this summer i also have a way more reliable solar system well i need to get my solar panel plugged into my power bank but nonetheless we have a reliable power bank this year so I'm gonna, i bought this obnoxiously large fan and i'm gonna plug it in and hope that it it you know doesn't drain the battery too much i understand this is pretty obnoxious though and if it doesn't work i'll try to find oh my god there's gnats where are you getting in from and i'm gonna see how it does and if it doesn't do well i'm sure i can find a 12 volt like lower voltage type of fan i do have where's my fan this is what i used last summer it's great don't get me wrong i love this thing it's it's amazing it has a a light built into it the battery just doesn't last long enough. And now that I have a power bank, I feel like I can go from a battery powered fan to a plug-in fan. So we'll see how that transition does. We're just gonna mess around a lot this summer and try to make this as comfortable as possible. Another thing is focus on where I'm camping. So I'm only going to be camp. Ow, one just bit my back. I hate these gnats so much. They're only near their salt water too. It's like the second you go near the ocean, game over. <laughs> What I was trying to say is focus on where I'm camping. So focus on shade. I wanna be able to put my truck in the shade. Luckily my truck is white, it's not black. So it, if I did have a black truck, we would not be doing too hot. But the truck is white, let's capitalize on that and also park in the shade. So yeah, couple things to really focus on, but I think we can do it and we can make this a really, really good summer, better than last summer as in like, Sorry, I thought I heard something. I think that was a train. As in not dying in the heat. So, yeah. Also, I'm gonna close my curtains because I think those people in those houses have a pretty dang good view of me. I don't wanna close all the curtains yet. Anyways, let's plug in the fan. You know what would be amazing if we could put this fan on my table that doesn't exist anymore? Let's focus putting on our new lights. <gasps> Okay. <gasps> it is so beautiful in here. It's such a cozy lighting. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. 
beautiful addition, putting these lights up. The best camping and fishing summer we could possibly come up with. Not turning on. Am I doing something wrong? Oh, that's so depressing. Well, what's up? Hey, do you want to go sailing sometime? Oh, I would love to. All right, listen, why don't we exchange numbers? Because I'm living in West Hartford now. Okay. I'm going back there tonight. But sometimes I need crew, and you seem like you're interested in this. <laughs> <laughs> you like in here? Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Um, it seems like you're interested in some of the things I'm interested in, so. Sweet. We can fish off the boat. Uh, sounds good to me. All right. And Have a good one. Well, that was terrifying. I had no idea who pulled up. That was our friend that we met when we, um, when we, you and I first got here. When I say we, I mean you and I. I get comments about that. When I say we, I'm not like talking about me, myself, and I. I'm talking about me, myself, and I, and you who's watching. Anyways, this thing, awesome, has one bar left. So that's not gonna last me very long. I had full faith in that big fan working. I, <sighs> all right, dinner. Oh, this one exploded. Is that normal? Is that, <laughs> Is that normal? Yeah, just, it's all right. This is going to be how we make it. If you don't know what we're making, basically, boil, hard boil two eggs. Crush it up. We're very fancy. I know. Michelin star dinner. I used to get salad a lot in my lunches, and dressing was just a kind of a pain in a the butt let's be honest so what you're supposed to do put your dressing or in our case mayo in a bag and snip right there in the corner or bite it and then i mean i know this is eggs but if it was a salad it just goes on so good like it's like a mini little piping bag look at that oops shout out my mom for that life hack <laughs> i use it a lot now, I don't know about you, but in my egg salad, just a tad bit of mustard, just a little bit of mustard, not too much. Garlic salt. All right, once you're done mixing that, you got your, your sandwich, your egg salad. That's all I like to personally do to my egg salad. I know people like to put relish, not a fan of relish. And then our key ingredient is this bad boy right here. This is a Portuguese roll. If you've never had Portuguese bread, I mean, I'm just very proud to say I'm Portuguese because of how good our bread is. Our, our bread's so good. So we're gonna slice open our Portuguese bread roll. Another really good thing. I don't like to toast my Portuguese bread I don't think it needs it at all, but you can if you want. And then that's it. Now we have egg salad for dinner, baby. And I've been craving egg salad all week long, so this is super satisfying. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. Did I just edit an entire YouTube video start to finish? Well, it's like 90% finished. Yes, yes I did. Is it 3.15 a.m.? Yes. Yes it is. I can't sleep, so I decided to be productive. And I'm happy I brought my laptop because uh, now you guys get a new video tomorrow. So, go team. Anyways, wanted to update you guys. Okay, bye, see you in the morning. Good morning. It is a very beautiful morning. <laughs> I'm 
I go take a couple casts and see if the fish are biting? Well, I'm ending off today's video here. I'm gonna go get some caffeine in me. And Lila and I are actually hitting the road. So I gotta, you know. Well, we have to hop on a plane and then hit the road. So that's some sneak information. So look forward to you for the next episode. Should be quite interesting. But yeah, I had an amazing time. Kayak was pretty great. Caught some good fish, good dinner. Got eaten alive by some bugs, but shoot, I had a blast. So hopefully you guys did as well. And uh, yeah, that's all I got. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And I'll catch you beautiful people on the next one.